uh, we'll be talking to Amandeep uh, Dillon, who is, uh, well, she'll be repping uh, uh, the ARC in Stockton, in fact. Uh, we'll be talking about the Big Picture Project. A warm welcome to CVFM Radio. Thank you. Hi, Idris. Thank you so much uh, for having me on the show. Um, and just to kind of echo what uh, Lisa was saying, uh, always up for a collab. So, yes, please do connect us. Um, it would be great to kind of um, get some more, uh, you know, organisations involved with what we're doing at ARC and also to help and support local organisations and communities as well. So, um, I mentioned uh, the ARC and, and, and the project you have, the big picture. Um, just tell us a little bit about that, because obviously we've shared bits yeah. and pieces on some of the pages. Um, and just tell us about the work that you're currently doing, uh, Amen. Yeah, of course. Um, so I want to kind of give a bit of a background of uh, kind of how this project came about. So, um, you know, some of you might be aware, there might be some that haven't actually visited ARC before. So um, ARC, Stockton Arts Centre, it, it's a multi art form art centre and it is situated in Stockton on Tees. Um, there is a, a full programme of lots of cultural entertainment events that go on. Um, but today, what I really want to put the spotlight on is the cinema and the film program. I think many people associate the building for theatre and comedy, uh, which is equally fantastic. But I think, um, you know, some support for the cinema and film program is really what we're looking for and what I want to put the spotlight on today. Um, so ARC is the only cinema operating in the town of Stockton on Tees, um, and that's not including community cinemas and um, film club organisations. Um, and, you know, as we know, that it is situated in um, a soci socioeconomically deprived area in the country. So we at ARC do recognise the responsibility um, to present a broad range of um, representative features across mainstream, independent and world cinema in, a, in order to enable so the very local Stockton community to access these films. Um, so the Bigger Picture programme uh, was basically designed to develop a range of contemporary South Asian films um, presented at ARC. Um, and we want to attract more people of the South Asian heritage as audience members. Um, we want to show relevant contact, but at the same time, track diverse audiences. So not just with a South Asian heritage background. Um, we want to increase knowledge and show content that's amazing, you know, fantastic con content coming from South Asian countries. Um, we try and be as inclusive as possible. All the films have English subtitles. Um, and we also recognise the fact that South Asians don't necessarily want to watch South Asian films. So we want to, we don't want to make that assumption. And we do want to encourage South Asian communities to come into ARC and really engage with the whole programme and give us feedback on what we can do um, from a South Asian content point of view. But just generally, how do these communities, um, whether it's Pakistani, Bangladeshi, Indian backgrounds, how can we engage with these communities and how can we welcome them into ARC um, and have them engage with the program and activity that we have on there. Um, so moving forward, we will be showing a range of films on a regular basis. Um, I think at the moment we have about uh, one every two weeks. Um, and we enhance these film screenings. So not just the film, we have director's talks, introductions, workshops. Um, and, you know, and as I say, we want to engage with the local community. So what can we do? You know, is it that you want to see a dance performance? Would you like, um, you know, food, um, networking opportunities included in with the screening? So what is it that the local community want and how can we best engage with them? and really cater to those needs. So that's basically just to sum up the pic bigger picture programme that we have on at the moment. Yeah, I recall going to one of the screenings, I, I can't remember the, the name of the film, but it was the one that was based in Spain and, uh, and maybe you can remind me uh, what that was, yeah. but we had the director there and that Q&A session was really interesting. Yeah, so we, we showed uh, Granada Nights and um, that is a film, I believe, it has been shown in some cinemas across the country, but it hasn't had a, a UK release yet. Um, so um, Abid Khan is the director, uh, and you're right, it was shot in uh, Granada, so it was in Sp Spanish and English. 
um, made uh, by uh, a director um, with Pakistani heritage, I believe. And we had a really great, um, you know, in, a, engaged kind of with the audience and a Q&A session. We had attendees from Teesside University as well. And, um, you know, it's kind of these kind of films with that are made by independent filmmakers might not necessarily be available to um, to audiences anywhere else uh, that we are trying to, uh, you know, to kind of um, to, to get that content for our uh, Stockton um, and the kind of local community. So definitely uh, it's uh, all communities across the Tees Valley and uh, the Ark is very uh, accessible and uh, right in the heart of Stockton. Um, so what sort of um, lineup do you have in terms of screenings over the next, uh, well, tell us about the, the, the next screening first of all, what is it? And, yeah, uh, tell us so, about yeah, so sorry, I should probably say as well, this project's been going on since kind of autumn 2021. Um, so already we've, we've shown quite a few films and they've been, um, a number of different genres, different South Asian languages. We've had children's films, like um, some family kind of films like Ra One. Uh, we had an animation film, Hanuman Immortal One. Um, there's a horror cult classic, Rath, starring uh, South Indian actress Rivathi that we had on. Um, Lipstick Under My Burka, which was also part of the Women X Festival. Um, we've had uh, a Pakistani UK premiere at ARC, and that was a film called Mahimir. Um, more recently, actually, just um, over uh, last weekend, we had um, a film called Miss Man, which was an LGBTQ plus awareness film. Um, and now moving forward uh, that you mentioned, we um, we have on Saturday the 26th of February at 7.30 p.m., mm. we're showing a film called Not Today. Um, so tickets can be purchased by the box office or online on the arconline.co.uk website. Um, it's an award-winning film by director Aditya Kripalani. Um, and it's about a girl called Alia, who is a 24-year-old Bori Muslim girl uh, from a traditional family. She secretly becomes um, a suicide prevention officer on her first day and um, encounters a 52-year-old man who's about to jump from a, a terrace of a high-rise building. Um, and as she kind of talks to him and gets to know him, uh, through their stories and you know attempts to kind of bring him down she is forced to confront with why she herself became a suicide uh, prevention counsellor in the first place and their kind of stories both open up um, and it's just a really fantastic story um, it's it is in told in Mumbai it kind of the film showcases like the whole city coming alive there's very kind of raw sounds it's picturized really well um and it you know it, it's an awareness film so it does highlight a lot of issues to do with mental health and we have reached out to a number of mental health organizations in the local area uh, for their support and obviously to attend the screening as well okay sounds fantastic and uh in terms of um, getting communities, and obviously individuals can um, go on to the website and, 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 and book online, but we would like to get maybe community groups coming together as a collective or, you know, there might be a group of friends that want to have, a, you know, a, a, a great evening out because the Ark yeah. is, a, is a great venue um, to, to socialise and, 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 and to meet people. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, we, we've done a, a range of films and, you know, we had uh, tea and samosa kind of screenings, um, you know, trying to just really welcome communities in and um, make it as comfortable and welcoming um, to everyone and really um, promote the kind of cinema programme that we have on. Um, we're working with local community groups. We're working with universities. Um, Miss Man, the LGBTQ plus uh, awareness film that we show, uh, we were showing recently, um, we had um, partnered with Heart Gables, we'd partnered with Curious Arts as well. So we are working with a lot of local organisations, um, art schools as well, the um, Northern School of Art, Teesside University and their various uh, societies and departments. Um, a lot of the films we do showcase are, as I say, uh, they might not necessarily be, we do showcase the commercial films as well, but 
a lot of the times they are the independent films with a social message uh, they are educational they do raise awareness for a number of topics so we're really trying to engage with these local community groups so if anybody wants to partner with us they want to hold a panel discussion after a screening they're welcome to get in touch um, and it might be that um, you know, they might actually have a topic in mind, so any local organisation, and I can actually source a film that's to do with that topic. So we do always look at different festivals throughout the year. So Miss Man was shown during LGBTQ plus history month. Um, you know, there might be, um, you know, a, a mental health awareness day or an independent women's day. So any kind of recognition days as well. I'm happy to source uh, South Asian content or look at the entire program and work with the other programmers at the cinema. So not just South Asian content, but we really want to engage with these local groups that how can we best help and support one another and promote one another um, and really get these messages out to the local community and the audiences. So um, please do come along, you know, we'd ask that everybody to engage with the programme, to come along to the screenings, to see what, what it's about firsthand. Uh, we have feedback forms, so everyone's welcome to fill in a feedback form afterwards um, to tell us what their suggestions are. And um, this programme is continuing for, the, for at least another year um, and hopefully thereafter as well. So even when the Bigger Picture programme finishes, we would like to continue this content um, on a, as an ongoing basis. Um, we are also hoping to showcase the UK Asian Film Festival in May. So that it begins on May the 4th and they are predominantly in London, but they travel around to other cities in the UK. Um, we're hoping to have a big premiere event at Stockton Art Centre Art Center, and um, you know, we're looking for sponsors, collaborators and hopefully local media, press and talent to attend. So um, please do get in touch. You know, we're always available to have a conversation and see how best we can connect and work with each other. So many you mentioned this bigger picture program is here for another year. And, and from what I hear, it is, uh, the, the program isn't fixed. Uh, you know, there is an opportunity to, you know, get feedback and suggestions and, and, and that the communities can shape how uh, uh, the, the, this particular project is delivered, the type of uh, films they would like to see. Uh, and so, you know, you, you're, you're all ears uh, from, from yeah. what I can gather. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. I think, um, you know, we want to, I might have an idea of what I think is great content, but it might not necessarily be what the local communities want to see. So it's it's a kind of two way communication. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm looking for ideas, feedback. Um, and as you say, um, ARC has some fantastic spaces. So it may be that we can use different rooms for, you know, um, that can branch into theatre or workshops or actors classes. So if there's there is a demand from the local community we are um you know really happy to have that conversation and see how best we can work together um and um really give you what you want what what the people of stockton really want definitely so the next screening you said was on the saturday the 26th, 26th and, of uh, February. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's, uh, that's not today and it's at 7 30 p.m at arc um, and then we do have some other films um, lined up. So we have a documentary film called uh, Garfi Nama and um, Sh Shabana Azmi, who is this legendary actress, is actually, um, she's taken part in a, a Q&A that has been recorded. Um, the documentary is about her father, Garfi Saab. So um, we'll be showing the documentary and then having a Q&A that will be shown to audiences afterwards. And I believe that's on the 17th of March. Um, we will be showing a film uh, called um, 1984, When the Sun Didn't Rise, on the 30th of March. Um, and that will be uh, showcasing the lives of three widows um, following the aftermath of uh, India's Operation Blue Star. Um, also a film called Holy Rites in April, 13th of April. And we also have um, the Beatles and India documentary on the 14th of May. Um, so there is a Beatlemania event at ARC as well. So it, what we look at is also the overall programme. You know, there's lots of interesting things going on. So please do, you know, just really to all communities, um, please do engage with the programme and see what else is going on at ARC at the same time as well. So not just the South Asian content, um, but look at the programme. Please do have a look at the programme overall. There really is something for everyone. 
definitely and if you go to the website it is arc online that's www.arconline.co.uk and um yeah it'll be great to maybe get some feedback from you guys and just connect with aman and and the team at arc i'm sure they'll be more than happy to hear from you so any community organizations groups that are out there listening would like to attend uh, any of the screenings then just get in touch um i believe uh, the um uh, the tickets are quite reasonable as well they can be purchased online yeah yeah, and there are concessions as well. And and again, you know, um, give us your feedback. You know, if you think that the tickets are too expensive or, you know, please do. We're always willing to hear, um, you know, ideas. If we can introduce, we did earlier have a two for one kind of system as well. So, um, you know, we're always willing to um, listen to suggestions. I can't always promise that, you know, we can deliver on them, but I will always try my best. And if there are suggestions of ticketing, you know, discounts, student tickets, group bookings, you know, we're always willing to have that conversation. And um, Dan is the producer at um, ARC and he is wonderful. Um, the team there is great. So if there's anything we can do, um, we have a marketing team uh, with Patrick and Andrew. And, um, you know, if you're a business, an organization, you can take some flyers, you can spread the word and you can get a group together. You know, we can have that conversation for group bookings and we can provide you with any marketing materials as well. So if people want to get in touch either with yourself or Dan, uh, can we get an email address? Uh, yeah, you can take mine. So it's amandeep, so that's A-M-A-N-D-E-E-P dot dylan d h i l l o n at arconline.co.uk definitely so if you go to our facebook page at cvfm radio um we will um, add that as uh, um, within the, the description of this uh, video there's also a link there for the screening uh, which is coming up on the 26th of february so um yeah do get engaged do connect and go and enjoy a great night out because i really enjoyed it and i'm um, look, looking forward to the next screening as well so um i'm mean, uh, a one Thank final you. word from you before we say goodbye to you uh, and uh, get back to um our some music for our listeners who are listening on the fm and uh, we'll uh, commence uh, or we'll uh, terminate the the facebook live after this as well so just uh, uh, a couple of last words from you before yeah, we say just goodbye. everyone please welcome you know please do come along to arc uh, and watch the films they are fantastic we have some great films lined up and idris i'm expecting you at every screening um no excuses <laughs> so hopefully um, we'll see um see some more of you there yeah. and um, please do spread the word thank you definitely so that was uh, aman uh, deep dylan from the arc uh, sharing information about the bigger picture uh, program that they have it's a fantastic initiative trying to get um, sort of a diversity and, and diverse audience within the arc and uh, as I said, I was quite surprised uh, uh, when I attended because uh, there's various different rooms and different uh, um, venue spaces available for events and you know cultural and arts uh, sort of stuff as well. So uh, do check their website out, Arc Online. Go, do go and pop in for a coffee. It's a great meeting space as well, actually. So uh, go and do that. And uh, we'll be back again with uh, you guys very shortly. Um, I'm going to say uh, goodbye to our online viewers for a moment, but we'll be back on the FM in a moment right after this.